Hi, I'm Nick, and welcome to The Greenhouse. Whether you're creating a student film, big budget blockbuster, TV show, web series, or even a podcast, there are three portions to every production. Knowing what to expect from these stages and what each include can help you as a content creator have a smoother, more efficient experience. Not to mention, it may save you or someone else you know from becoming an outrageous rage monster on set. Please hang up and try again. Today in the greenhouse, we're taking a quick look at the three stages of production. There are three distinct portions of any production. Pre-production, production, and post-production. Now don't let these scientific names confuse you. Pre-production, sometimes known as development, is the planning stage. It's the first step of taking that idea in your head and bringing it to a reality. At this point, it's primarily up to the producers to put the show together by any means they can, which, depending on your budget, may or may not include tempting your friends and family with free food. It's like asking people to help you move, except less fun. <laughs> Whether you're begging your friends and family to be in your student film, or pursuing major talent to be the face of your franchise, all that deal making between producers, agents, and talent falls within pre-production. Literally, every step of your creative journey begins here. Music, actors, crew, locations, legal clearances, audio, directors, writers, rewrites, budgets, schedules, distribution, transportation. The fewer questions you leave unanswered, the smoother the rest of your journey will be. Not to mention, the more prepared you are, the less likely you'll make a fool of yourself later on. All right, we're all here, so uh, who brought the camera? Please hang up and try again. This should give you an idea of why pre-production can last for such a long time. Some projects never make it out of pre-production. The cycle of planning and replanning is commonly known as development hell, or turnaround. Projects such as Mad Max Fury Road and Avatar have spent considerable time in development hell. Now you have a script, schedule, budget, cast, and so on. The very moment your company lands on set, the second portion of your project begins. Production, also known as physical production. The lights are up, set is locked, crew is in place, talent is ready, coffee is flying in, and you begin making your movie. Believe it or not, physical production is actually the shortest step time-wise compared to the other two. Production for studio films usually takes around four to eight months each. Weekly television shows can film an entire hour episode under a week. It's all about efficiency. One of the ways crews increase efficiency is to split up their work into units. First unit teams often shoot the main action sequences. Second and third unit teams shoot the scenes with less priority that can include B-roll. B-roll refers to any non-descriptive footage, such as shots of background, time-lapse, or close-ups. Production ends, or wraps, once the final shot is captured and the captured media gets turned over to post-production. At its simplest, post-production is taking all the millions of little pieces captured in physical production, processing them into something useful, selecting the best parts, <coughs> selecting the best parts, <coughs> selecting the best parts, <coughs> processing them into... Uh, <coughs> this is whole. Into a whole. This is the most important part of production. At its simplest, post-production is taking all the millions of little pieces captured in physical production, processing them into something useful, selecting the best parts, and then stitching them together into a whole. This is exactly what post-production teams, which include editors, assistant editors, and their support teams, do under the supervision of the producers and director. It's in post that additional elements such as voiceover, music, sound, graphics, and special effects get stitched in. Near the end of post, once a cut's audio and visual pieces are locked, the cut is then mixed and colored. The mixing process is where specific audio professionals use highly calibrated instruments to fine tune all the audio associated in the film. Colorists similarly use highly calibrated screens to make sure the film's color scale is consistent and to the director's pleasing. Once the picture is colored and the audio is sweetened, the movie is officially locked. This is where distribution comes into play. Click here for a more in-depth discussion on that topic. Thanks for joining us here at The Greenhouse. If you'd like to learn more about how we're serving the entertainment industry here in LA and elsewhere, check us out at greenhouseproductions.com. There you can find our calendar of upcoming events, The Greenhouse blog, and how you can get involved. 
find us on your favorite social media, and please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.